Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. To the vlog. Today I am deep cleaning. I found this on Pinterest and I'm hoping this is what I need. This is the start of the weekly vlog. Today I don't have work, so we're tackling this. I need to go through this first and check off the things that I don't need to do, that I don't have, perhaps, like a microwave. I don't need to clean the microwave because I don't have a microwave. But anyways, if you're interested in this week's vlog, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below, and that's pretty much it. Let's get this week started. Can you tell I've been cleaning? I look so good. Oh, my back hurts. Um, I'll show you what I've done before. The kitchen. Don't mind the kiddos screaming. Um, I have the doors open. But the kitchen is cleaned. I went through and reorganized some of my cabinets and went behind the oven and cleaned. I got pulled the um, dishwasher out and cleaned. So the only thing I didn't really go through very well is this cabinet because I went through it somewhat recently. So I was just like over it. And I think that's it. But I haven't eaten yet today, and that's my bad. I should have definitely eaten. It's almost five o'clock. I need to go to the grocery store before Jake gets home. So I probably need to leave like now. I'm so tired. Um, I also, I got like a good chunk of it done. I didn't get everything done, obviously, but I got a good chunk, so that's what matters. Good morning. It is 6.40. I, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm working on coffee. My mother-in-law sent me this and it's pre-ground. We don't typically, typically use pre-ground lately, but I wanted to use this up because it's pumpkin spice. My <laughs> uh, kettle is heating up. That's why it's so loud. I wish I had a, I kind of want a new kettle. But you didn't hear that from me because I spent kind of a lot of money on that. <laughs> Today I'm having my vitamin C in a Onspock Christmas Market mug. <laughs> so for breakfast I'm having this. It doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot of Greek yogurt and granola. It's kind of like sunken, but I got these little cups in here. These from the commissary because they don't have my Chobani right now. So I put some blueberries and some granola on it um i also have on my list to fix these lights even though i kind of don't want to but it's on my list so i gotta do it and then my coffee my chai i put chai mix in it and i need to buy myself a milk frother because i'm getting rid of my keurig and that's what i've used as my milk frother for a long time so need to get me a new one but i'm debating there's one on German Amazon and I can get it like tomorrow or the next day and then there's one on American Amazon <clears throat> they're essentially the same thing but I can't get the one from the American Amazon for like two weeks so do I order it now and just wait or do I get the German one what do I do I don't know but where we live has German and American plugs that's why I can use American plug stuff or else obviously I would have gotten a German one but, oh my gosh, my hair is just wild. I am home for lunch really super, super quick. Um, my new sweater is on, bought from Primark, so cute. I need about like 800 more, but gotta wait for that paycheck so I can go do that. I have really not been into doing my hair lately, so it goes up like almost every day. But it's nice, it stays on my face, you know, all the things. Um, for lunch today, I'm having a peanut butter, oh, I thought I had bananas. I guess I'm just having like a peanut butter, peanut butter sandwich, um, which is fine. I don't have any jam. I forgot to get jam, like peanut butter and jelly. So I'll have to remind myself to go do that. That's the update for now, for today. I was running super late this morning. I mean, I didn't get to work late, but for me it was late. So 
I wasn't late, but it was, I left my house late basically. And that's pretty much it. My mask has been like tight on my face today. I already washed my hands, so it's okay that I just touched my face, but we're being extra careful. So, Ooh. okay. I'm rambling. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. I'm eating lunch. That's what I'm doing. I look crazy because uh, I had a mask on, but we're making Italian wedding soup. I know it's super loud, so I apologize. As soon as the vent is off, I will show you what we've done because I'm very proud of it. I don't have any taste of it. And I'm already proud of it. Good morning. I'm watching the World Series right now. It is 6.16. I'm gonna make some coffee. But I wanna share this little tip that I've been doing for my coffee. I feel like I always talk about coffee on here, but like, I love coffee, okay? I'm, I've been taking these little hot cocoa mixes, like just, just like a chai mix, but Hot cocoa so I basically just put this in my mug for some coffee and mix it together and it's like mocha it's perfect it's not too oh okay game one's over I we're from Houston if you didn't know so the Houston Astros are gonna win the World Series you heard it here first and I'm not gonna post this in probably till after because I'm not gonna jinx myself. So, if you typically get mochas at like coffee shops, I recommend doing this because I think this is awesome. And this brand, especially Linda Lakes, which it's kind of interesting that they even have these, but <laughs> um, they have mint flavor. So like if you wanna do like peppermint mocha type situation, you can do that. I love it. So for breakfast, I just have, I think I had this yesterday, so it's basically the same thing except for this yogurt with blueberries, granola, and honey, and then my coffee with my hot chocolate in it and make it a mocha. It is so dark and gloomy here today. I have new concealer, so my under eyes are like, like shocking, but I am running a little late, <laughs> um, so I need to... I just made a coffee because I forgot to drink my coffee. I made it, but I forgot to drink it. So, made a Vietnamese coffee. Just gonna put it in my Yeti. I know this is crooked, just pretend it's not. But I never really get to use my Yeti, so. Because I never take my coffee to work. I always just drink it beforehand. I have my favorite sweater on from Primark. It is so cold outside right now. It's 39, so I'm gonna actually have to put a jacket on, which I mean I do, but I need to fill up my water, and then I'll be out the door. So yeah, I don't really have anything else to say except for good morning. I hope y'all are having a great day. I know you're watching this. I feel like I'm like... I don't know, every time I say that, I'm like, oh, they're literally not gonna see this for like days, but I still hope you're having a good day. I need to replace these lights today. Whenever I get home, I need to remember to do that. Anyways, I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys probably at lunch. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Um, I'm putting the fall decor away because I think I'm gonna decorate for Christmas. I know it's early, it's October 20, 30th. October 30th, but I don't care because I freaking love Christmas and I want to go hard for Christmas because we're actually gonna be home this year and I want our house to feel like Christmas Wonderland. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'm so freaking pumped about it. Um, I'm gonna decorate with what we already have and then I'm just gonna like buy a bunch of new stuff. Right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> He's not listening. So I'm gonna put this stuff away because I didn't even really like my fall decor anyways, so. You look like a ghost. And listen, if we have any people over for Thanksgiving, it's gonna be fine because they're just gonna accept the fact that I love Christmas more than Thanksgiving, so it's fine. I told Jake that next year, oop, I told Jake that next year we're gonna do a Harry Potter themed Halloween slash fall 
because we're watching Harry Potter right now and it makes me want to have a Halloween house decor thing for Halloween. I am going to keep my fall candles out though because my fall candles, I still need them. I still need those. You know, this might be far to say, but besides travel, the reason why I'm working right now is so I can buy Christmas decor. That's my, that's my purpose when I go to work right now is like, oh, I can just buy more Christmas decor. <laughs> Yay. And I want to go, there's a couple stores out right now that have Christmas decor and I really want to go and get more. But I also need to see what I already have because, so listen, I have some decor from, I like don't know where, how to like, let me take a seat. I have a bunch of decor from my grandma because my grandma <laughs> knew that I loved Christmas and so she left me some of her decor. But um, it's like very vintagey, like old school Christmas decor. So I don't know what I'm gonna still use this year, but um, I'm just happy to have a lot of her stuff because it means a lot to me that she left Christmas stuff to me because she knew how much I love Christmas. So back in the day, whenever I was in cheer, do you remember this when I wore Christmas socks every day? So back when I was a cheerleader in high school, I wore Christmas socks like literally every day. <coughs> so my mom and my grandma would go out and buy me Christmas socks whenever they were out like shopping and doing whatever. They'd always buy me a ton of Christmas socks. And I used to have so many and I don't have any. <laughs> I just can't get over this. Um, I don't have as many anymore. So maybe I'll order some like on Target or something. Or the dollar store used to have tons of Christmas socks. But anyways, I'm ready for Christmas. I'm just ready. I'm ready. I posted on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me, here's my Instagram handle, but I posted on my Instagram story today and it was like this um, decor and it was like a little skeleton and on the, the letter board it said me waiting to put my Christmas tree up and it was like a skeleton and like spider webs and stuff. It was really funny. So I'm ready. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make our house like Christmas heaven this year. Yep. It's going to happen. Hello. Hello. We just got back from shopping. So, as always, here's a haul. I got this at Rossman. And look how dang cute. Can you see that? Hang on. Look at how cute. It's like little German village houses. So cute. We went to a French market downtown and got... I'm gonna put this down for a second. We got some cheese. Oh, it smells so good. It's like, oh, we tried it and it's very good. So, we got some cheese. No idea what kind it is, so sorry, but we also got some pastries that we already ate. And then we got some nougat. Even though we're going to France in like two weeks. <laughs> oh well. Then we went to um, Action and I got some spray snow. I've never used this before. My family has never used this before. So like growing up, we never did this. So I'm curious how this is gonna go. I'm really excited about it though. I feel like it's gonna be very cute. Then I also got this platform for probably the table in the living room maybe, but I'm gonna put like, this is a pumpkin, but you know, lots of stuff, make it real cute. Then we got some Christmas lights for, why is it out of focus? There we go. Got some Christmas lights for out on the patio. Jake wanted to get some colorful lights. I go for typical white lights, but like these. I got some of these too. I think I'm gonna put this, we have like a wreath type garland that goes like up and over the window in our kitchen. And I think I'm gonna wrap some lights around it this year. I think it'll be cute. I have like, this is my inspo for this year. Very cute. Well, just for the like, um, kitchen window. That's it. That's the only inspo I have so far. We're probably gonna put our Christmas tree here. So I'm gonna take down our cross wall and just put Christmas tree. I really then I also got this because we don't have anything like this in our bathroom, her shower. So it has like a suction cup little corner thing. So hopefully this fits and doesn't fall. Whoa, whoa. At Action, they had some toothpaste so we got three things of toothpaste because they were like 195 or something which is pretty cheap and then we got these at action it's cute and they have like the suction or the 
the sticky stuff on the bottom so you don't slip inside. It says Merry Christmas. Oh, so cute. And then Jake got deodorant. Nothing fancy. Just I've never seen these in the States though. Let me know if you see these in the States because I'm curious. Like this type, like little... How do you open this thing? This rolly ball? Like, no. interesting. So interesting. And then I got this really cool thing. Our friends let us borrow theirs. But it's like a water bottle, basically. Like you, not a water bottle, but it's basically like a water bottle. You fill it up with like hot water and then it's like a heating pad. It's everything we got. We're probably gonna put, it's raining right now, so we won't put these out right now. But I am starting to decorate for Christmas this weekend for sure, so. So excited. So excited. I'll show you what it looks like whenever we do this though. Okay, we definitely put this up much earlier than we thought we were gonna do it. But we put it over here and then up and over this and down and then through this. I'm so excited. Okay, we need like a doormat over here. We don't have one right now. But I have a Christmas one, so it'll be fine, but... Should I leave them plugged in? Huh? Should I leave them plugged in? Yeah. Okay. It's getting dark. Oh, look at it. You can kind of see them. But I want to get ones that go, like, inside, and they go across the windows, but then we can't open the windows, so I don't know. We'll see. This is very random, but this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'm so glad we bought it. It's so worth money. It was only, like, six bucks. So what I just did is I put water in our kettle and then I just heated it up. You just stick it wherever your stomach hurts, your back hurts. It's like, oh, it feels so good. And we don't have a microwave. I already said that, we don't have a microwave. So it's perfect because we can't just like heat up stuff like a heating pack or anything. We'd have to like, I don't know, put it in a microwave or something. What did I just say? Put it in the oven. We don't, I mean, I don't think you can do that. But anyways, so. This is ingenious. Is that the right word? This is ingenious. This is genius. <laughs> and now Jake is making pumpkin risotto because we bought it from the pumpkin festival that I have a vlog for right here. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm just so happy we bought this. Let's <sighs> make my stomach feel so much better. Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm about to upload this video a little bit later today. But I just wanted to go ahead and end this vlog. But first, wait, gotta show you what we did today. All the Christmas stuff is out. I'm so excited. So I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it's gonna be a long one. So if it is, I hope you like long ones. But we will see you guys in my next video. Bye.